Being a customer support rep in today's world isn't easy, partly because our customers are expecting so much more from us, resolutions and minutes, personalized help, being available on every channel imaginable, knowing every single past interaction they've had. Ugh, it's hard work. How do you manage these demands while providing a delightful experience using a tool your reps will love? Enter Service Hub. Hi, I'm Adrithi, and I'm here to talk about all things Service Hub. Service Hub connects all your customer service data and channels on one CRM platform so you can easily support, retain, and grow your customer base. The result? better customer service management, and delighted customers at every stage of the journey. If this sounds like something you need, buckle up because I'm about to take you on a tour. The first thing that I wanna talk about is our help desk. Our help desk is where your support reps are gonna spend the majority of their time responding to customer inquiries. To access your help desk and your navigation, go to workspaces and select help desk. Now here you'll be greeted with a list of customer inquiries or tickets that need actioning. Now you might be asking yourself, how do these tickets even come in here? And you can connect live chat channels, email, forms, or even calling. And whenever a customer emails that certain email address or fills out that certain form, that is gonna turn into a ticket that's gonna live in your help desk. So really think about how your customers are reaching out to you. And once you have that idea, Make sure you connect that channel to HubSpot so that all of those customer inquiries can live in the help desk. Now within your help desk, you can see of course a ton of information such as the contact and company the ticket is associated with, as well as things like priority, ticket owner, pipeline, and more. If you need to see more or less columns, all you need to do is click edit columns and you can drag and drop to rearrange. You can also delete certain columns that you don't need to make sure that this is exactly what you wanna see every time you go into your help desk. Another thing that you can do is set up views. Now, this is all of my tickets, but as a support rep, I don't necessarily need to see every single person's ticket. I just wanna see my own. So for that reason, you can set up views that whittle down this list to show you only the tickets you're interested in. So I can say, I wanna create a view of ticket owner is myself and priority is medium and high. So now I have a really specific list um, of tickets that need my attention right away. Let's click into a ticket. So there are a couple of things that you can do directly from this ticket. For one, you can see all the historical contacts, including all of the past phone calls, the past emails, that this person has sent within this ticket. And on the right-hand side, you'll be able to see a ton of information about this ticket, such as the ticket owner. Right now, there's no owner for this ticket. We can either manually assign an owner or we can ask HubSpot to evenly round robin the tickets to my support team so that everyone has an equal chance of getting the support ticket. Now you can also have multiple pipelines. Multiple pipelines are really helpful if you have different segments of customer support. So let's say you have online customer support and you have in-person customer support and those tickets go through different processes. You can create multiple pipelines and distinguish your tickets that way. And you can also update ticket status. Now this is editable, but HubSpot has some really slick automation behind the ticket statuses that it's already given you. So let's say a ticket comes in and that person has emailed us, the ticket status will automatically change to waiting on us. Let's say I respond to that ticket, HubSpot will automatically change the ticket status to then waiting on customer. So now as a support rep, I know exactly the tickets that need my attention that I need to respond to right away. You can also see the other objects associated with this specific ticket, um, such as the company, the contact, the deal, and more. So that's just a really, really uh, convenient way to stay in touch with your marketing and sales teams and make sure that your entire company is aligned. Now let's actually get into responding to a ticket. Something that I love about the help desk is the ability to switch between email and live chat with just a click of a button. I know that there are some folks out there who start a conversation on email, but then we'll just pick up the phone and call you, 
or start a conversation on live chat and switch to email. And as a customer support rep, it gets really hectic trying to figure out which communication style they're going after. But with a help desk, you can easily switch between live chat, email, and call with a click of a button. So all the correspondents are gonna just live on the same thread. Now let's say I need to respond to this person. Sometimes I'm just not feeling it and I need help with my responses. And that's where AI comes into play. So I can highlight my response and click the star button. And I can actually change the tone to be more professional. I can edit as needed and send it off. That is a really powerful feature. Another thing that you can do is actually insert knowledge base articles, snippets, your meetings, link, documents, and quotes. That is the power of having a help desk that's deeply integrated with your CRM is that you have all of these resources right at your fingertips. Now you might be asking yourself, all of this is great, but how did these tickets even get into your help desk? Great question. And that's where connecting channels comes into play. If you connect a team email, a form, a Facebook messenger account, or a live chat and calling, and someone emails you to that specific email or fills out that specific form, that inquiry is automatically going to create a ticket in your help desk. So by connecting your various channels, you know that no ticket is falling through the cracks. As a support manager, you also wanna make sure that your support reps are responding in a timely manner. For that reason, HubSpot has SLAs or service level agreements that you can set up to ensure that your reps are responding when they should be. To set up your SLAs, go into your settings in the top right and under tools, select help desk and select SLAs. Now here you can set those standards of how quickly your team should be responding to these tickets. And you can manage your SLAs either during working hours or 24 seven. You can also set SLAs based on ticket priority, meaning for ticket priorities that are high, we have an SLA of one day, but for every other ticket priority, maybe it's two or three days. And of course you can set up an SLA performance overview dashboard. So your dashboard is a great way to understand how your team is performing in regards to meeting their SLAs. Now, the last thing that I wanna talk about in regards to our help desk is how those tickets get routed to your support reps. Uh, in your settings, go ahead and click a routing. There are two ways that you can set up routing. You can either set up routing based on capacity or based on skills. So for capacity-based routing, every rep has an equal chance of receiving a support ticket. But based on skills, you can actually add skills to certain users, um, such as technical skills or conflict mitigation skills, so that if you tag a certain ticket uh, with one of those skills, it will only get routed to the people who are equipped to solve for those types of tickets. So. Uh, make sure to set up either capacity or skills-based routing so that no ticket is gonna fall through the cracks. Now I wanna talk a little bit more about the calling feature we have in HubSpot. To access calling, if you go into your settings and then on the left-hand side, select general, click calling, and here you'll be able to set up an outbound phone number so that you can log, track, and make calls directly from HubSpot. Once you have created your HubSpot phone number. If you click this little telephone icon, um, you'll actually be able to answer that call directly from your HubSpot browser. So it's a really, really easy feature to use, especially for your support reps who are already using HubSpot 24 seven. So not every question that a customer has needs to be addressed from your customer support reps. That's why a knowledge base exists. A knowledge base is a collection of articles that customers use to get answers to their questions. So to set up your knowledge base, which is available for pro and enterprise service hub customers, go ahead and select content and select knowledge base. Here you'll be able to create articles um, that address common questions that your customers are having. So pro tip here, look through your ticket reporting to understand what are the most common questions that your customers are asking and use those to create knowledge base articles so that your support reps don't have to answer it every single time. So give your knowledge base a title 
and an answer. And just like in our help desk, we can enlist the help of AI to either rewrite, expand, shorten, or change the tone of our knowledge base article. Of course, like everything else we have, you can see insights into your knowledge base articles, including views, the average time customers spend on articles, the helpfulness rating, and more. Another self-service tool that we offer with Service Hub Pro and Enterprise is a customer portal. Now, a customer portal is a website where your customers can view, open, and reply to their support tickets in one dedicated space. This is what a customer portal looks like. Uh, they log into this website and they'll be their ticket, the create date of the ticket, the last activity, and the status. So this really helps for when customers are constantly emailing you saying, hey, what about this ticket? What about this ticket? Instead of doing that, they can just log on to their customer portal um, and they'll know exactly where their ticket stands. At Upslot, we have a saying, Feedback is the breakfast of champions. So of course we take our feedback really, really seriously. So in your navigation bar, click automations and select surveys. Here you can create multiple surveys. You can create a custom survey if you would like, or some industry standard surveys, including customer support surveys, customer satisfaction surveys, or NPS or customer loyalty surveys. It's really, really easy to set up. A lot of it is actually um, non-editable, especially for those industry standard surveys. We wanna make sure um, that they're just asking those questions that uh, everyone across the board is asking. And with a couple clicks of a button, I was able to create my survey. We can see insights into these surveys by clicking details. And here I'll be greeted with a breakdown of how satisfied my customers are. Um, and I can even add more filters or get really granular and see who those customers are so I can follow up with them if I need to. This feature is available for our pro and enterprise Service Hub users. All right, folks, if this wasn't enough for you, remember that G2 has crowned HubSpots as a leader in the mid-market enterprise and small business spaces. So what are you waiting for? Start with free tools and pay as you grow or hit the ground running with one of our starter or premium Service Hub editions.